Hello there, my name is Niamh and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I upload videos twice a week, every Tuesday and Friday, so you should totally stick around and subscribe. So today I'm going to be giving you 10 tips that I find helpful when it comes to getting yourself out of a rut. So, do you get what I mean by rut? Like kind of, if you're like kind of down in the dumps, in a bad mood, not in the mood to do anything. Tips to help you get out of that mindset. I think it can be quite easy to get yourself into a little bit of a rut these days with everything that's going on, especially if like me, you're not working at the moment. It's hard to kind of get yourself up and motivated to do something because you're like, I could literally lie here for the entire day and no one would be affected by it. So I'm going to give you 10 tips that I find helpful when it comes to getting out of a rut. So I hope you enjoy. The first tip, which you then can kind of apply to a lot of the other tips, is to take things step by step. So this is actually something my boyfriend kind of helped me with, where on days that I just cannot seem to get out of bed, he was like, take things step by step. He was like, first step, he was like, stop cuddling bullseye. I don't know where bullseye is, I have a teddy of bullseye and, I, and I'm just always cuddling him and he was like, stop doing that, that's just making you comfy. Then take the blankets off your body, then stretch, then throw your legs outside the bed, stand up, do this. Like if you take things literally step by step and do things so like, it can be so, so simple, like lock your phone, then put down your phone, then sit up instead of lying down. Like you literally, sometimes could need to talk to yourself like a child but honestly it has been helping me a lot to just like if you take things into one simple task at a time you can then get the overall task done the next tip is to get up and get yourself ready so don't stay in your pajamas all day just get up and get dressed like i'm always in comfy clothes like this but if you find that it might help to get into like a pair of jeans and a nice top just get out of your pajamas get your hair brushed straighten it curl it whatever you want do your teeth get yourself clean you know wash your face and just get yourself ready as if you were going somewhere because it'll just make you feel better than if you're kind of lounging around with your hair up in a messy bun and like just kind of you'll feel lazy and then you will be lazy Tip number three, and it is so, so important, and I have only realized in the last while how important it is, but make your bed and do not get back into it. This is something I honestly, for so many years of my life, was horrendous at making my bed. I would never, ever, ever do it. My bed would only be made when I was changing my bed sheets. That was the only time my bed would be made. But especially since the start of quarantine, lockdown, whatever this thing is, um, I have been making my bed every single morning about like once and then i had a really awful day because i was just so like sluggish and i was getting so annoyed at myself and and i honestly think half of it was because i got back into my bed and i just lay there whereas if you get up and make it it's fine if you just lie back down on it but lie on it rather than in it again because then it's a lot easier to do your steps and to get out of the bed again have something to eat. Now, not a snack, do not have a snack. Make sure you are having something to eat. If you're getting into that bad mood, a lot of the time, I think it is because you could be hungry. That's for me anyways, what I have found. I'll just be in like such a weird mood or something and the next thing I'll go eat and I'll feel a lot better and I'll be like, oh, maybe I was just hungry. So get up, make yourself even a bowl of cereal or something or don't snack. Make sure you actually get a good, decent, proper meal into you. I think cereal is a good decent proper meal, kind of. <laughs> the fifth tip is to keep drinking water. So I have this bottle, um, I always just have it filled up, that's a lie, I don't always do, I try to always have it filled up and just make sure that I am drinking it as much as I can. I know a lot of people don't even like the taste of water, maybe put some lemon or lime or something into it if you prefer. Um, but I, I enjoy water as it is. I really only drink water or milk. I don't really drink much else. But I think it's just so important to keep yourself hydrated. It might not even feel like it's doing you any good, but it is. Your body is appreciating getting the water in. And if you keep drinking the water, then you're gonna keep needing to fill it up and that'll get you up and moving about, which will also help you get, you will also, which will also help you get out of the rut. The next tip is to get up and go outside if it's dry or if you're a person who likes going out in the rain that is fine as well but 
going out and getting some fresh air can really really help it doesn't even have to be going and exercising like if you want to just go outside if you have the luxury of being able to go outside and sit down i know some people are in apartments and stuff and don't have that luxury but if you are one of those lucky people go outside to your garden and sit down take in the fresh air you don't even have to exercise or if you think it'll make you feel better go even for a short 10 15 minute walk or if you want to like really go for it go for a jog or run whatever you want but going outside will help you because it'll get you out of your space and out of your <laughs> environment that you're living in and it'll just make sure you get some nice fresh air and it'll definitely benefit you tip number seven and this might seem very simple but it is to open your curtains and open your blinds and open your window I'm going to assume here that most of us are spending our time in our bedroom and that we all have a window. <laughs> I have blinds that I'm able to like pull all the way up so I make sure that I do that uh, just because it makes the room so much brighter and nicer and it just feels a lot more fresh but then I always make sure to open my window just even a little bit just so that the fresh air is getting in as well and this I have the blinds that kind of they're not oh my god this makes no sense I'll just try to show you so my blinds are you know these kind of blinds that you like flick one way or the other but I can also pull it up fully so that my full window is on show. So if you also have these style blinds make sure and if you can if you're able to like pull them the whole way up make sure you do that because for ages I would just like flick them so that I could that it was bright but I've started now in the last while putting them actually the whole way up and it is so so much nicer. The eighth tip is to do something but that doing something shouldn't be going on your phone. I find when I kind of I'm getting myself into a little bit of a rut, into a little bit of a bad mood. I just lie there on my phone and that never ever helps. It never ever helps, especially if you're going on social media, if you're looking at people's stories and there they are out and doing this, baking this, making this, and there you are just lying, watching it on your phone. It's gonna make you feel a lot worse than it needs to. So just get up and do something, or even don't even get up, reach over and grab something like a book or I've been playing Animal Crossing on my Switch um, and I've been doing a lot of reading which I'm really enjoying and even though that to you might not seem productive it is it's not just sitting there on your phone it's actually kind of helping your brain in some little way because you're distracted you don't have as much time to think meaning you don't have as much time to think about what kind of mood you're in and being like oh like I'm so bad at getting out of these moods and I'm this, so this and I'm so this and then you're just going to get even more and more negative whereas if you're sitting down reading you know you're just forgetting about everything else and you're just focusing on the book hopefully anyway I don't know <laughs> it can definitely help you and even though these things might seem like you know things you do to relax and to wind down it's still actually helping you get out of your mood the ninth tip is to listen to a music or a podcast I think this helps so so much even when you get up and start getting yourself ready like you're just getting dressed or anything pop on some music pop on a podcast because again it's just kind of taking your mind away and you're only focusing on the music or you're focusing on what the person's saying on the podcast and it can just really help and you can just kind of get engrossed in that and then you're kind of taken away from your own mind for a little while and it can just be really nice it's something I've started doing a lot more and I'm really enjoying it and I think it really helps to just get your brain out of that negative rutty mind space and the tenth and final tip is to make sure that you're not too harsh on yourself this can be the main culprit of not getting out of a rut I think it's completely okay to have days where you do nothing where you are in bed all day I think that's completely fine if you feel you need it if it continues on for more than like two three days where you're spending like a whole week in bed then maybe you need to you know think about other things but don't be too harsh on yourself allow yourself to have your chill day still it's completely fine as I've said in a previous video like even if you are not working at the moment it feels like every day is an off day but make sure you're still giving yourself days off that makes sense and don't be too harsh on yourself if you try doing things to get yourself out of the rut and they don't work that's okay try again tomorrow it's completely okay to just write off the day um but in saying that it also is okay to write off half a day does this make sense like a lot of the time i think my day is going to get off to a certain start and then it doesn't but that doesn't mean the whole day has to be a write-off you can just be like okay I'll start my day at 3 p.m. instead. I'll start my day at 6 p.m. instead. Whatever you want to do, like you don't have to get up at nine or get up at eight and like go seize the day, all this kind of stuff. Like if you're not feeling it, that's okay. Try again in a few hours. If you if it doesn't work in a few hours, try again in another few hours. And if that doesn't work, leave it for a day. We'll try again tomorrow. 
because that's all we can do we, all we can do is try try our best and if it's not working there's no need to try push yourself if you're just not going to let yourself push yourself does that even make any sense i don't know so those were my 10 tips for getting out of a rut they may not help you they may help you thank you very much for watching um these are just the tips that i kind of find help me sometimes when I find myself getting a little bit down and you know getting myself into a rut I find these things can really help if you did like this video give it a big thumbs up make sure you're subscribed do let me know if you thought these tips were helpful and if you think maybe they're going to help you in the future I really hope they do so thank you very much and I shall see you when I next see you